Hey, what's going on, maniacs? You know who it is. It's the madman here. Now, you guys are probably wondering what the hell I'm doing stood here with overalls on, looking like a farmer. Well, that's a very good question, and Madman has a very good answer. Please excuse my shitty looking appearance and dirty overalls and messed up looking hair and stuff like that. I just got back from doing a tree job and I thought, what the hell? Why not give you guys a really kick-ass product deal for all you working greasers out there? Shit, a man's gonna make money, right? Why not make it in comfort? Or as comfortable as you can be. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut up, because I need to go take a shower. So uh, I'll be back with you cats, well, in a little while. Dig it. All right, maniacs. Madman's back, cleaned up, ready to go for this product deal. Dig it. All right, maniacs. So before we take a look at the Dickie Bib overalls, let me talk a little bit about it. So as I've stated many times, and it's funny because I still get questions about this, and at least the questions now are not so much because I've been posting on my Instagram more. So if you don't follow that again, click on the link in the description below. Go follow me. You see what I'm up to, all the behind the scenes shit of the madman, all the art and stuff I'm coming up with. Anyway, so I always get asked questions, you know, oh, besides, you know, doing your art and doing YouTube, like what other kind of jobs do you do? What do you do for work? Well, I do a lot of different stuff, you know, uh, and one of those things is tree work. Yes, I do tree work. And, and you know, the Greaser Rockabilly community has always been known as a working class community. You know, you've got mechanics, you've got painters, you have artists, you have uh, people in all kinds of different industries, whether they, a lot of them do auto body, a lot of them just dig, you know, doing the actual mechanical work. You know, you have cats in the military, you have them in fire, police, you know, all sorts of different jobs. And depending on the job you do, and if it's one that you get dirty in, well, you're going to need something to work in that's comfortable, that you can get dirty, washes easily, and is good quality. And if you're like me and like to try to stick within, you know, the style and culture, well, you want to get something that looks good too. And one of those things is bib overalls. Yes, bib overalls. Um, you know, from back in the day, you'd see a lot of greaser, rockabilly, mechanic types wearing bib overalls, and they still do to this day. You know, if you're around the greaser scene quite a bit, you'll know. You'll have seen different cats. You know, a lot of mechanics tend to wear bib overalls. Guys that work in shops like to wear bib overalls because it gives them room, flexibility. They're very comfortable to wear. Um, now, depending on what you wear under them, now, typically, you know, if it's, a, if it's a fucking hot day, I just wear, you know, a fucking boxers, throw them sons of bitches on, put a t-shirt on or a flannel or, or muscle shirt or whatever, and just go to work, you know. So I stay pretty cool, and they're easy to move in. They've got tons of pockets, and it's great. So if you're carrying a lot of gear, you know, I carry my cigarettes, I carry my phone. Um, if I have to carry tools, I can carry tools. Whatever I need, I can put in those pockets because i got a lot of them. Now, back in the day, you know, growing up doing a greaser thing, you know, all of my buddies, including myself, we all loved Dickies. Everything from the pants to the jackets, and of course, I had to get the bib overalls. I had a pair from back in the day when I was in high school, but they were a bit smaller because, you know, I've grown. I've gotten bigger since I was, you know, in high school, so I had to get a pair that was a little bit bigger, so I had a little bit more room. And I actually like to wear and get uh, bib overalls that are a bit baggier because I like to have more flexibility and more room to move in them. I don't like them so tight, you know? And if you're working constantly, you're, you know, you're not gonna want something that constricts you. You wanna be able to move freely in them. But, you know, going back to my point, uh, ever since back in the day, we always went with Dickies. You know, Dickies always has stood the test of time. They've been around for a very long time and they're good quality. So you know that whatever you're getting is going to last. All right, so before the madman stops jawboning and actually shows you the damn things on Amazon, I want to let you cats know the madman has designs up on Amazon. So merch by Amazon. Let's take a look. Oh, 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 whatever they're popping up. They're going to pop up somewhere on a fucking screen. But anyway, so if you guys want to check out some cool designs, get a new T-shirt, 
all of my newest designs are have been released on there so go give them a click check them out the links will be in the description below and all that wonderful shit all right so let's get into this thing now these are the exact same dicky bib overalls that you've seen me wear from the pictures and the video and the intro and the whole thing these are the exact same kind cats all right so let's take a look at these all right we've got look at that look at that beautiful look at all them pockets gotta love it all right let's take a look at the back see we got the two back pockets as well you got the little little uh strap down here for the hammer and you got some more pockets down in here and then of course uh we've got uh, a sizing chart which is very important so you're going to want to take a look at the sizing chart to figure out you know exactly what size you are and all that kind of stuff all right so let's take a look at these they have a four star rating which ain't bad and a, let's see there's been three thousand and four customer reviews so that's pretty cool four star rating uh it says list price of 54 dollars, but the price right now is 31.99 so you might want to take advantage of any deals, especially any of you guys that do and you know a lot of shopping on Amazon. This would be very, very good for you. And let's go ahead and take a look. And of course, we got the size chart here, and we've got the different sizes here as well. So you're going to want to make sure you pick the right size. And of course, they are in stock and all that kind of shit. 100%. Uh, whoop, whoop, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Damn it. I don't want to look at the boots. All right, 100% cotton, triple stitch seams, hammer loop, fit tip, is if measures are in between those listed in the size chart, recommend next larger size, double tool pocket, and zip fly. So this is what they look like, cats, right here. And I can tell you from experience in wearing these over the years that they are great, and I really dig wearing them. They're very comfortable, uh, great for hot weather, because again, if you buy them a bit baggy and you decide not to wear any kind of like pants or if you want to wear gym shorts under them, just if you don't want to wear your underwear, that's perfectly fine. I guarantee you they'll give nice cross ventilation. One thing is though, I can tell you about these since they're bib overalls and they're not like the coveralls that you actually slip on and zip straight up. Uh, whenever I'm chipping and doing stuff like that, when I'm throwing uh, branches through the chipper, you know, all of the uh, the little pieces and sawdust and stuff like that, they fly all over the place. And uh, they tend to go down into my legs and stuff and get into my boots. But, you know, hey, that's just the job. It is what it is. But uh, let's get back to the bigger view. All right, we're back. Big view. All right, here we are. Hey, how you doing out there? All right, ooh. Anyway, so again, they're a good price. They're good quality. I've never had any problems with them. I've had, you know, good experiences with pretty much everything made by Dickie over the years. And uh, for any of those that are interested in actually picking up a pair of these, again, they're great for work. Also, I want to make mention for a lot of you guys that are artists, any of you that are artists, uh, especially that do a lot of painting, this is something you want, okay? When I was in high school, I actually used to get these and I would use them for my painting because I would get paint all over the place, you know, depending on how big of a canvas I was working on and how I was working, I'd spill paint and all that kind of stuff on them. So they're actually good for that as well. But anyway, I'm going to post the link in the description below. So go give it a click. You won't be uh, sad that you did, or maybe you will, but either way, go do that shit. All right. So, I think that's it. I think I covered pretty much everything I intended to cover today. And uh, if you don't know, get a clue, get a brew, get a rock and roll tattoo, hang loose, be safe, and for, you know, for God's sake, go outside, do something, go get some air, breathe, you know, go hang out with some friends, go get a burger, go get a shake, you know, uh, go find a girl or, or a boy or something or whatever. Do something else. Okay, get out get out of here. Stop watching the video. Okay, go, go. Bye. See ya. Why are you still watching? Why am I still ranting? The hell's wrong with me? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. I'm just fucking around. Alright. Madman out. See you on the next one.